Today I'm going to talk to you about three common everyday foods that unfortunately often make IBD worse. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name's Steve, I'm an IBD coach. I was diagnosed myself with IBD almost 20 years ago, been drug free and symptom free for a very long time and now I help other people to do the same. The unfortunate thing about these three foods is that they are often regarded as health foods, but in IBD land, things are different. If you are consuming one of these three foods, I might recommend that you try taking them out. But don't just take them out for one or two days before you decide whether or not these foods were hurting you. Try taking them out for at least a week, ideally two weeks or even three weeks, before you draw a conclusion as to whether or not these foods were holding you back. Number one is honey. A lot of people will use honey in their teas. They'll use honey to sweeten things. They'll add honey to certain dishes. They'll sometimes even just spoon honey into their mouth because they've heard it's a health food. They've heard it has antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral properties. They will be having manuka honey. They'll be importing it from New Zealand or even kanuka honey, which is kind of similar. The problem with honey is irrespective of the type of honey, it does have a lot of sugar. And I've seen the research, I've seen the articles online about people saying that this will not feed bacteria because it has these antibacterial, antiviral properties. But the reality is I've seen honey make symptoms worse in a lot of people. I'm actually one of those people. So when I was trying to resolve symptoms, I tried a lot of different things, right? And one of the things I tried was honey. I would actually buy some pretty expensive Manuka honey from New Zealand. And very soon after consuming the honey, I would actually feel a heat in my intestines. Now, even if you're not getting this instantaneous hot kind of reaction, I still don't necessarily think that honey is the best thing for you if you are having symptoms and struggling to get rid of those symptoms. So take the honey out and see if you feel better. Number two is oatmeal. Now, unfortunately, oatmeal is one of the greatest things on earth and it is definitely regarded as a health food by a lot of people. People will talk a lot about how that helps to feed your microbiome, help to feed your healthy gut bacteria. Unfortunately, in IBD land, oatmeal can cause problems. I do have oatmeal sometimes, but I don't have it often. I probably have it once every week or two, and it's typically like a Saturday morning treat or something like that, because oatmeal can actually do some damage to your gut if you have been diagnosed with IBD. And you could make things even worse by sweetening that oatmeal with some honey. And if you're adding dairy to that, mm, not the best idea. So. Try replacing the oatmeal with something else. Maybe you can have some scrambled eggs. Maybe you can have an omelet. If you're vegan or you don't want to have a high protein, high fat breakfast, maybe you could try something like a smoothie. But ultimately, I would try taking that oatmeal out to see if your symptoms get better. Or if you're symptom free and you do want to have oatmeal from time to time, try not to have it too often. Number three is yoga. A lot of people in IBD land are focused on optimizing their microbiome. This is for good reason. I do think we should be trying to improve the health of our gut, specifically of our gut bacteria. But yogurt, and this is even if it is yogurt from sheep, yogurt from goats, and yogurt from cows that produce only the A2 protein, can still cause problems. Personally, I do consume dairy. I have uh, goat's milk kefir. I do have yogurt from time to time. I do have cheese from time to time. But this is after years and years of learning what affects my gut and what doesn't. If you are unsure if dairy of any form is holding you back in your healing, remove it. And if you are worried that by removing yogurt, by removing fermented dairy, you're not gonna be able to optimize your microbiome, that is simply not true. You can do that with diet. If you would like my help in doing that, I'll leave a link for you to contact me below this video. That's all it was, guys. Please like the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.